Greetings, greetings, greetings. Uh, this is Prophet Wes, and I want to encourage, I want to speak to, I want to uplift you. You are the person that feels so low. And because of this, you always look for the negative. You always gravitate toward the pain. Uh, even when you look at medicine, you always look at the side effects. Even in relationships, you look at what would, will happen or what you think that would happen. And the reason why you feel this way is because you haven't forgiven yourself. That's what I want to talk to you about. That's what I want to say to you. Forgive yourself. It's not about the other person. It's not about what happened to you in the past. It's not about who hurt you, who betrayed you, who backstabbed you, who don't treat you right. It's about you. You must free yourself. And the only way that you can free yourself is to forgive yourself. That's all. Just let it go. You are not God. You are not God. You can't control everything. You don't know uh, what tomorrow holds. You are not God. You can't control everything in your life. Some stuff you got to trust God. You got to. You got to. If not, you're going to go crazy. And, and eventually your body will break down. That, uh, and you have mental conditions. You have emotional conditions. And then what will happen, if you don't then seek God, those emotional conditions and mental conditions, they're going to be, eventually become physical conditions. They take on spirit forms. See, when you entertain certain things that are negative, even with crying. See, when, when you cry so long, crying can take on demonic forms. Because then crying can become manipulation. Tears, it can become manipulation. Anything, if, it, if there isn't balance, it can be become something bad. That's why the Bible says a false balance is an abomination. Things has to be in order. They have to be in order. And so forgive yourself. That's all you got to do. Forgive yourself. And so, and then you feel forgive yourself. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. This prophetically, there are things that God has for you that's waiting. They are waiting for you. There are new things. There are new blessings. There, there are new relationships. There are new things that are waiting for you. There's new blessings. There are new break, breakthroughs that are waiting for you. And it all is dependent, is uh, predicated on you. On you forgiving yourself. And that means to let go of it. Don't stop, stop replaying in your mind when it happened, when it happened, when those things happened, what you could have done different, how you could have changed the narrative. You couldn't have. It happened. It's over. It's over. Hopefully you learn from it. And if you learn from it, pick yourself back up, forgive yourself, shake off your past, and move forward. See, because life is too short. And there's so much that life can offer you. Why allow something that's over to rob you your past rob you of your blessings, your future blessings. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. God bless you. Forgive yourself. Thank you. God bless you.